Atlantis is traveling 730 miles per hour altitude, 50,000 feet. Commander uh, Scott Altman now flying Atlantis. And the views as the crew uh, sees it through the forward uh, windows of the orbiter through the head, heads up display. The twin uh, sonic booms heralding the arrival of Atlantis to the uh, landing site. Time to touch down three minutes. Altitude 34,000 feet, traveling 560 miles per hour. Atlantis, on at the 180. Copy, Houston, on at the 180. Pilot Greg Johnson now flying Atlantis. The orbiter is halfway around the heading alignment circle to line up with runway 22. The northeast to southwest approach end of uh, runway 2204. And Commander Scott Altman now uh, flying Atlantis the rest of the way. Time to touch down two minutes. Atlantis on at the 90. Houston, Atlantis copies. On at the 90. Altitude 12,000 feet. Houston Atlantis, field in sight at 10,000 feet. Copy, field in sight. Seven thousand feet. Four thousand feet. Two thousand feet. Commander Scott Altman beginning to uh, flare out the uh, vehicle, pitch the nose up as he approaches uh, runway two two from the northeast. Three hundred feet, uh, landing gear down. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis is rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, completing 197 orbits of the Earth while traveling 5,276,000 miles. This landing marks the 53rd shuttle mission to end at Edwards Air Force Base. Atlanta spent seven days servicing the Hubble Space Telescope that included five spacewalks, totaling a record 37 hours. 
Atlantis has completed its 30th mission and the 126th in the history of the space shuttle program. The Hubble Space Telescope's final servicing mission is complete, but its mission of discovery is just beginning. Houston, Atlantis, wheel stop, Edwards, 2-2.